Hey everybody, Hooker TV X, Common Sense. I'm gonna say some shit I haven't said ever. Ever. Subscribe, like, and comment, and share. I rebooted this channel to try and save the youth. It may be in a harsh way, but it's necessary. You can't put a kid in the corner no more. They'll turn around and blow your fucking head off with a Draco. You get what I'm saying? All that soft shit. Oh, okay, you don't gonna be on punishment. Punishment? This nigga just killed two people. You tell my goddamn punishment? He punishing you. And I do this for the situation that happened with my son to where he's doing 30 years in prison at the age of 16. No driver's license. No shot on his 21st birthday. Uh, no rental. He ain't rented nothing. He ain't nothing. So everything that we do and, and it's easy to us, his kids is never going to see that. All that nice shit is over. Support it. We got to save these kids, man. It don't matter if we only save one. At least we did something. We could go up there with our little one save, and guys are going to kick us right on through. And we're going to go hang out with everybody. Toast up and shit. It's not going to hurt. Let's get it going. Let's get it goddamn going. Every kid and youth deserves a shot at life. Thank y'all for y'all time. Everybody, Hooky TV X, Common Sense. Sad topic again. We don't never have good ones, do we? I would love to say something good. But don't tell me that's gonna happen. Big scar. A lot of things said that he might have been shot to death for a drug overdose. And if it's a drug overdose, why, when you see people dropping dead from a little bit of something, fentanyl, just a little pinch of it, dropping fucking dead, why the fuck did you risk that? Would you stick your dick in an AIDS patient? Huh? And say, hey, it might not catch me this time. Let me just go on in real quick, get right back out. Would you risk that? No. 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 If they told you, hey man, we only got HIV blood left, man. Now we're not telling you when you're gonna be able to die, nothing we don't know, man. And you so trustworthy. You say, hey man, my uh my uh system can just kill that. Shoot that up in me. No. No. And this is why they promoting it to the kids like this. Because remember back in the day, look, right? Back in the day we got oxycons and shit. And that shit came from the pharmacy, nigga. Straight pharmacy. Only thing that you ever worry about overdose when people taking too goddamn many. We're not knowing they took too many now. They got enough fucking fentanyl to kill every man, woman, and child in America. And it's a reason, because they know where the fentanyl is going. They know who's taking it, they know who's using it, and they're promoting it. Because they want y'all to drop dead. They love seeing it skyrocket from fentanyl use. Yeah, they're going to act like they want to save people and hit them with the narco can. Yeah, they act like that. They act real sensitive about your shit. Oh, it's just too many people dying of drug overdoses. Where the fuck is coming from? Y'all can send $44 billion to Ukraine, but you can't clean up this shit here. I mean, I mean, how are y'all finances? How are y'all juggling y'all finances right now, man? But, it, but yet you still want people to pay taxes. 
high price ass gas, high price ass food, homelessness around. We got so many homeless people around. You know what 44 billion could do to America? If y'all weren't so goddamn stingy, you know what they could do? Y'all help everybody else but us. Everybody but us. That's another topic anyway, man. That's another topic. That shit pissed me off, man. But you got this brother. Rest in peace, brother. Who's promoting this. And dies from it. It's so hard to kick drugs, man. It's so hard to kick drugs, man. You, you... And that's the reason why a lot of people don't stop. That's a big reason why they don't want to just buckle down and go through the withdrawals. The kids is looking at it thinking it's cool. It's not cool, kids. It's really not cool, man. You don't need that shit, man. Because most of them are lying and fake anyway. They ain't out there thugging. They on that goddamn Ice Cube shit. On that Dr. Dre shit. On that iced tea shit. Yeah, that's what they on. They on that type shit, man. They just selling a product that people like. You don't see them out there in no goddamn gang fights. You don't see them out there coming to the block to do a goddamn meeting. They want y'all to do that so they can get their money. It's a hard pill to swallow, but it's true. It's true. Even Soulja Boy had to go from that corny dance music shit and change his shit to reach to a big Draco. No disrespect. No disrespect. But nigga, you know I'm telling the truth. You want to get some of that hood money, nigga? They said, hey, you know, Soldier, we love the way the music is going, man. We love how you do it. You know, you're energetic. But um, the numbers are dropping, man. The number ain't no, hey, I know. But this is a new world we're in. The numbers are dropping, man. People are going more to the, to, to the goddamn drill scene. And they're not thinking about um, kissing nobody through the phone. They want to shoot a motherfucker through the phone. Yeah, that's what they want to do. They don't want to kiss nobody through the damn phone. They want to shoot a nigga through the phone. So, um, I mean, we got some ideas here if you want to look them over. And next thing you know, introducing Big Draco. The biggest Paru. <laughs> <laughs> the biggest Paru since Wack 100, nigga. That nigga was up in Bombay. They want the buddy so bad, they put themselves in danger. They put themselves in danger. Now, if that would have been a real situation out there with him, it would have turned out ugly. It would have turned out ugly. He damn so lucky. Because he could have went way wrong, nigga. He would have been one of them alleys, nigga. Beat the fuck down. promoting this shit to these kids, man. And I'm sorry you had to pass away from it, brother. That is not cool, man. But when are we gonna stop, man? And tell the truth. When are we gonna tell the fucking truth? On your video. Say, hey, man, you know all this shit in here that I'm talking about, man? But this shit it ain't real, man. I don't do that shit. I got a guy, I ain't got nothing on my record. I got a goddamn gun permit. You know, my credit score is it, it, skyrocketing. You know, we good. I'm just letting y'all know so y'all can have this warning. We're not doing this type of shit. This is like an action movie. They're not doing it. As soon as they do the fight scene, cut, here comes the stunt devil. You look at it like, oh shit, open his head, look at that shit. Fast and furious, and he just jumped off a goddamn airplane. And he jumped from cars out of a fucking airplane. That's not them. That's digital. Them niggas would have been dead. Dead. You think Toretto can hang, handle all that shit? No, he can't. Neither the rock is strong, but he can't handle that shit. I know that. 
soon as they yell cut, they go to their companies and they meeting rooms and they thinking of another idea. You'll never catch them in the hood at no goddamn Roscoe's. Uh-uh. Unless they sitting somebody. Or they in something bulletproof when they going through a goddamn drive-thru. But you would never see them out there like that. And when you see them in a movie, you're excited. Goddamn, look at them. I could do that shit. I know I could do that shit. Man, you remember when we used to jump over roofs and shit? I could do that. You're on the news, kid dies trying to jump off of a bridge with a uh, with a goddamn trash bag and, and goddamn hover to the goddamn uh, water and swim out. Be stupid, you want to? Be stupid if you dare want to. Stop believing this shit, man. All that shit's fairy tales, man. That's not real life. They selling you a goddamn dream. They selling you some shit they wouldn't do. All these damn blinkies and goddamn spinning the block twice and goddamn shooting people. Man, come on. These would have been in jail. Only place they got got only place they got um could do that shit at that time was in Chicago. Get the fuck on Wild Wild West out there, man. Try that shit to you. Look at all these Ricos. You'll be up in there quick and fast. Ain't no damn drugs in there for you. Unless you've given up something. And I wouldn't suggest that. You be holding on to my goddamn pocket. Walk around looking like a goddamn bitch. You singing, pump, pump, pump it up. <laughs> Sorry, Joe. I had to, man. You flaming. Kids. Please, man. Don't believe the hype. They faking. They doing it for money, not to take care of you. When your parents here say, what the fuck is that you listening to? What the take that shit out? What the did he just say he cut somebody's head off? And he driving with it in the back seat? If you don't turn that shit off, he's been here driving you doing your goddamn homework. What you need to be doing. You got the nerd talking about somebody. And then we talk about it all night. Why the old people went up playing cards and shit. Yeah, this boy gonna have some song going. Talking about cutting somebody's head off. And, and driving around with in the back seat, child. Can you believe it? These kids these days just got them to just don't make no sense how they is. When you're rooming, oh, you don't know nothing about that. Pay attention. Listen. Don't be hard headed. Hard head make a soft ass. Again, brother, rest in peace. Big scar. And to the future ones that's gonna drop, like Big Scar, if they don't stop doing what they're doing. That's just facts. Common sense.